Hey guys, this is Joe Smart and I want to show you a little video where we mixed resins. I looked quickly for a YouTube video of this and I didn't see one. I just went ahead and experiment with it. I took the two most different resins I had and figured if these mix, anything will mix. Uh, we started with a bright green plant-based any cubic resin and I mixed it with an Epax hard black. So they're completely different colors, completely different brands, even completely different types of resin. And the results speak for themselves. They mixed perfectly. This was the original green plant-based resin. After very cautiously mixing in just a little bit of black, it got a tint darker. But I was expecting maybe it would have mixture, maybe it would have lines, maybe it would have problems. But after this first test worked, I knew there's no problem here at all. We mixed in even more black and we started getting this dark olive. Basically, it seems like there's no problem at all. I don't see any difference in the materials. They obviously feel a little bit different. The, the soft plant-based resin and the hard black, this one feels more like the hard resin, this one feels more like the soft resin, but they mix flawlessly. Um, so I'll show you a little clip of us actually mixing it in case you're curious, like what exactly did I do? Uh, but I should just say, you should be wearing gloves, you should have a mask on, and you should have some sort of eye protection. I bought like a, went to a shooting range and they have like those plastic eyeglasses for shooting and you can buy them for like a buck. And then I have standard nitrile gloves and a paper mask. In this case, I am using any cubic EC UV resin. This is the plant-based stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and pour the rest of this. Actually, you should always shake the bottle first. This is nearly empty though and I've already poured it in several times, so very little left and I'll be emptying my bottle but I just poured it in. You can see how much brighter that is than the mix I've been messing with. Get as much of the resin out as you can. And I decided to experiment by mixing it with something that is absolutely different. This is Epax Hard Resin Black. The resins are nothing alike. The colors are nothing alike. I figured if I can mix this, I can mix anything. Just pour in some black. Obviously, if you use too much black, it's gonna get way too dark because black is such a stronger color than the green. And I just take my plastic spatula and I just do like the space balls joke where you comb the desert. I just slowly comb it and mix all that resin together get it to kick up. And if I still see that multicolor soapy look, I assume it might print like in layers, like stripey. And that might look cool for some projects. If I were a fire elemental, I might want to mix like a yellow and a red and barely mix them. And then just see if it prints it in yellow and red layers. That might actually be pretty awesome looking. But for this, that's not what I want. I want a solid I didn't even care what color it was. I just didn't want it to be bright green. And I had some hard black on hand, so I decided to mix them together. And it's giving me like an olive. And that's a good enough color for this young green dragon. But you'll see how much less striped it is now. Just with a little bit of mixing, it's all mixed up. But furthermore, when this thing goes to print, it's gonna constantly be pushing down, pulling up, pushing down, pulling up, pushing down. So it's gonna be like a plunger on the pit the entire time it's printing. So I don't need to mix it perfectly. It is going to be mixing itself for hours while it prints. This, this apparatus can go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down and keep that pump going. I just wanted to make sure that I at least did enough that it's mixed to begin with before I even start. There you go. But yeah, from, from the looks of it, um, you can just mix resins. So we had no problems whatsoever. I also want to show you really quickly about glue. We were starting with just basic crazy glue right from the store. And if you use too much crazy glue, that extra glue that squirts out as it oxidizes uh, will become that white flake. It looks terrible. But this is an example where I use just a tiny bit of glue. If you use the right amount of glue, it's really not that problematic. But there is still some. Uh, someone suggested we try using canopy glue because it dries clear. And this is an example when we use canopy glue. And there, the real benefit is you can use a considerable amount of glue, let it gush out, 
it's still gonna eventually dry clear. But ironically, as this dries, it's originally white and turns clear. So this will look terrible as it dries and end up great. This will look great as it dries and end up terrible. So we're, uh, we're gonna stick with Canopy Glue for now, but if you have more suggestions for glues that we should use, we don't need a strong bond because if they break off, you just re-glue them, but we really do want it to be clear. If you have other suggestions for better glues, let us know.